David, thank you, sir. The W Road winds up Signal Mountain, and people who travel it often know the twists and turns of its hairpin curves. Something they're not used to, however, is the sight of bright blue icicles. We wanted to find out what's giving them that vibrant color. The curves of the W Road can be tricky to maneuver, and sometimes people slow down to get around. But in these temperatures, many drivers are putting their cars in park. A wall of blue ice on the side of the road is catching the attention of regulars like Sarah Campbell. I stopped the car. I took pictures of it. Everyone behind me stopped their car and took pictures of it. Matthew Hilliard pulled over to take pictures, too. It's like a bright blue like the sky. It's, I've never seen that before. Campbell says she posted it on Facebook and she's been getting lots of comments. Some of her friends think it's a prank. That people are using food coloring. People are obsessed with that theory. I really don't know if it's true or not. We decided to take a sample to Dr. Michael Dabney, an analytical chemist at UTC. He didn't rule out the food coloring theory, but he observed it wasn't just blue on the surface. The color was well distributed. My first knee jerk reaction, honestly, looking at that color would be to say there's some some sort of dissolved mineral. Dr. Dabney told us the intense blue color is typical of certain copper compounds. I have seen uh, instances of it before, uh, and generally it does tend to be on areas where there's rocks where there used to be old copper mines. He says it's possible that acid rain could be eating away the front of the mountain, exposing areas that normally wouldn't be accessible to water. I would say it's definitely safe. It's the same sort of runoff we get off of the mountain on a daily basis whenever it rains heavily. In Chattanooga. It's just that at this point, because it's frozen in time, if you will, we can actually see it occurring. Whether it's dissolved copper or not, W Road drivers are enjoying their own winter wonderland. Everyone thinks it's pretty cool. And Dr. Dabney held on to that sample for us to run some tests. Now, it may not